It's personal between me and I'm going to do you some serious harm, you big stiff idiot. Okay. The Untouchable True School Sports Empire probably presents something the boxing game's been missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Now, to my left, we have a man that really needs no introduction, but I'll introduce him to you. He is the pride and joy of all of North Las Vegas, my main man, 50 Grand, Johnny Cortillo. What's good, champ? What's good, champ? Good to have you back on the channel. Nice. Yeah. Now, look, I got, I got Johnny here because he's, he's actually going to put me on game and put you on game and so something that we should be paying attention to in the boxing world now johnny you've been running your mouth a lot about this guy uh gustavo lemos who yeah. as right now he's the number three ranked uh ibf contender finally selby this weekend george cambosis is mandatory george cambosis is mandatory that nobody's as, talking about and as everyone as everyone um knows and one thing i'll say is He's not better than Agustin Gauto, because to me, that's the guy you guys have to be looking out for. From Argentina, yeah. But I do believe Gustavo Lemos is a is a very good fighter. And I feel like that style matchup, possibly with him and George, would be fun because he is a puncher. And he does have at least two names that would be somewhat notice, noticeable. Maramedito Paez and then uh, Jonathan Ennis, which my boy BT Yeah, said Jonathan Ennis is tough, man. He beat an undefeated prospect. And um, and I think Gustavo Lemos is really good. He's a very he's a very good good puncher. He comes forward, uh, and I feel like this fight with Lee Selby it's a fun fight because he's finally gonna get tested, and he's going in there with a former world champion, someone that that uh, George Cambosis had a split decision with. A common opponent. And I feel that um, with that fight being made, I feel like. In a year's time, you guys will hear a lot about Gustavo Lemos, and you could see him possibly in there with, with you know, because let, let's be honest, that Devin Haney fight don't seem like it might happen, so you never know. He might fight like a Devin Haney. He might fight like a, a Zura Abdullayev or one of those guys, but, you know, he's definitely going to be in the mix, and he's definitely someone you guys should be looking out for, and that fight's going to be on TYC Sports. <laughs> On the 26th. That's so right. Make and, for, sure and for those that don't know, TYC Sports is the mecca of Argentinian boxing. So uh, we'll be paying attention to this fight with a lot of intrigue. Now, now, now Johnny, like, uh, I've seen some highlights here and there of, of uh, Gustavo Lemos. Uh, how is his punching power? His Cut. punching power is, is, very, is very good. Now, his boxing ability, not so well, <laughs> not so much, you know. But he comes forward very well and he has good, good uh, head movement. But that's why I like that fight with him and Selby because it's going to be the classic boxer and puncher mm, and yeah. with, with with someone like like Lee Selby with a name if he can get the job done perform well and possibly stop him it would be a nice feather in his cap mm. uh, to do something that George hasn't done and I don't know if Lee Selby's been stopped before but I feel like that would be a nice feather um, check that out. in, in Lemos' cap so mm. I feel like it's a fight of intrigue and it's a fight that people should be looking out for and but just so you know lee selby has never been stopped in any of his three losses to <laughs> warrington cambosis or and, uh another thing that yeah. i feel that people should be looking out for he is going over there to argentina so he's going to be on the road this time he, he, so. he's talking about lee selby lee selby's lee going selby. to fight gustavo lemos in argentina so you have to pay attention to the scorecards as well because they might lean his way so I feel like it's going to be a tale of two fighters. I feel like Lee Selby's going to get off to a very good start. He's going to win three, maybe four rounds. But later on, I feel like Gustavo Lemos punchy power and his head movement is eventually going to catch up to him. And I want to see how he can perform in round eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 mm. and, and that title eliminator. And honestly, I feel like he'd be a nice little contender to add to that, so, that list. He'll I'll, definitely I'll ask you this, Johnny. To look, look I'll ask you this, because right now the talk is all about, you know, the, 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 the usual names, you know, Evan, Ryan, you know, these kind of guys. Is Gustavo Lemos the type of fighter, in your opinion, that you think could gate crash, completely just ruin the party at 135? I don't know about ruin the party, but I like the style matchup of him fighting like a George Cambosis, someone that's going to be on the back foot because he's the type of guy that can get out box, but his punching power will be able to, to get him out of a lot of trouble. And I feel like with Lee Selby, he's going to be in some trouble, but I feel like if I'm right about him, his punching power will get him out of the trouble against Lee Selby later in the fight. Okay. 
I think he's gonna get the job done. So uh, assuming that he he can beat uh, Lee Sully, which is not gonna be easy. If let's say he, let's say for whatever reason he, he he can't get George next, what what other thirty five pounder would you would you think would be a great matchup for Gustavo Lemos? I mean, Zer Abdulayev just beat uh, Linares. Yeah, just beat Linares. So I feel like you know that'd be a good fight too. They can they can make it happen at. Uh, at uh at 135 over there in like argentina again and you know uh maybe like a a tago if he loses to to mm. ryan yeah, he, uh, he's ranked he's highly ranked know, a um i don't know any anyone at, at 135 that that would be a, no, a notable contender someone uh, someone solid uh, to just get him known to the to the american public because i feel like to the american public he's not going to be known after this fight he's just going to be a guy that you know he if he beats Lee Selby, there'll be a guy that beat Lee Selby. But after that, I feel like if he wins, he deserves an American. Yeah, I got I got two names right now. Looking at the rankings, that just jump off the page to me, just from what I've seen of Gustavo. I think I think they'd be good fights. I would like to see him fight either uh, Richard Comey because yeah. he's ranked and he can punch. Yeah. Or uh, I want to see what the what, what this what this what this guy uh, William Zapata has for Golden Boy. Those are those are good fights. And yeah. I feel like those fights, um, there. I feel like that one, William Cepeda, will be a barn burner. They'll both be in the pocket. They'll both be exchanging. And uh, with someone like Gustavo Lemos, I feel like he's got to watch out for that. Uh, William Cepeda is gonna have to be watching out for his left hook because he's got a dangerous left hook. And uh, and with a guy like Richard Comey, former world champion, uh, big left he, hook, big big left hook, big right hand, and. They can both put each other's lights out, so I feel like those fights are going to be entertaining fights for the fans, and I feel like um, those fights will be fights that uh, that people would enjoy to watch because his style is fun to watch. Okay, you know? okay. Well, look, if you didn't know who Gustavo, Gustavo Lemos knows, because of Johnny, now you know. Now you look, know. look out for him. He's fighting Saturday. It's on TYC Sports, which I think you can only get on like what Direct TV if you're in America. So yeah. if you don't got Direct TV, you should have luck. But still. Yeah. Just pay yeah. attention to the news because this could be a guy that fights here, George Cambosos, or maybe other one of the other and, champions. But and and you and you never know. You know how George says he'll be willing to fight someone in Australia, and he likes to go on the road. Maybe he gets a mandatory with like a Gustavo Lemos, and you never know. They could even make George Cambosos go on the road. Like Argentina? Be crazy. You never know. Yeah, that, you never, but listen, crazier things, has, wants to be the road crazier road. things have happened in boxing, but you know, he's in that position now where he got the money, so we know George's attitude has changed a little bit. A little bit. A little bit. We don't know if he's going to hold true to his word, but we'll see. But Gustavo Lemos, a guy to watch 135, he's fighting this weekend. You know, we'll leave or, it at, or a guy that would be nice to see him fight against, too. Uh, you know, uh, one of those, um, one of those prospects at, at 135, maybe like the winner of uh, of Michelle Rivera and now, Doro, Doro. Yeah, you know, no, as no, a no title one. eliminator, that'd be that'd be. Perfect. I know, but uh, as you but, pointed out, and as I've seen myself, Michelle Rivera has bought an Argentinian card, so I'm sure he's yeah. familiar with Gustavo Lemos. But listen, on that note, we, we pretty much covered everything about yeah. Gustavo Lemos. Any any final message, Johnny, to the people? Stay tuned. The it's gonna be a good fight where where the boxer is gonna get off fast, and we'll see if the puncher can catch up to him. Okay. So I feel like it's a nice cat and mouse fight. It'll be a fun fight to watch. Okay. And it might be the fight of the night. Oof. Well, there you go. They, they have from the pride and joy of all North Las Vegas, Vegas himself. But with that being said, you guys take care. Let us know what you think about Gustavo Lemos and his future in the comments down below. And like I say in every single one of these videos, you can love me or you can hate me. But I'm just a kid from Daniel. So until next time, take care, guys. Thank you for watching another video on True School Sports, the home of boxing. If you made it this far, do me a favor and do yourself a damn favor. Hit that subscribe button and surely you will not be disappointed. You know, True School Sports bringing you the latest and greatest, the untouchable, you know, boxing content, interviews, news videos, breakdowns, live fight reaction extravaganza. We've got a great community of, of people here, boxing fans all over the world from America to the UK to Australia and on and on and on. So join the empire today. Hit that subscribe button. Take care and God.